This is a download for the star template. Now, when you download this, you'll get six sheets, but from every sheet, there's various options. You can then create your own templates and save them up bit by bit. Now, you can either print them directly onto just ordinary paper, which I do, uh, card, thicker card, and obviously your template's going to last much longer that way, or if you want to put onto acetate, or then you could even draw around one onto thick um, plastic and then make your own templates too. But the great thing about the digital templates, you've got them forever, and you just print them down as you want them. But as I said, from each template, you can create lots of different options. And if you look at all the different videos that go along with this range, the flip and fold cards, then you will see all the different options that you can do with these templates. I'm only going to show you one in this particular video, but please remember there's loads and loads of different ideas that you can do with these templates. Do not think of them as just a template. You draw around, cut it out, and that's it. You can get so much inspiration from these. So this is the, this is the, this is the uh, star one. Now, the star one works slightly different to the other flip and folds because it all depends on on the geometric shape in the center, whether they match exactly. With a star, this is a five-pointed star, so it's not, it's not exactly the same both sides. So I've had to slightly alter the design to allow for that. It just will never work. But I thought the star would make such a beautiful flip and fold card that um, I didn't want to uh, not use it. And don't forget, we're adding more designs all the time for Easter, for Christmas, for anniversaries, for weddings, all sorts of things. So just keep looking out. What you see on the website today and what you see is not what's probably going to be there tomorrow. You, that'll be there, but there'll be more things added as well. Anyway, shut up, Alan. Okay, I will. Right, have a look at this. This is your star one. And I'll explain as we go along what we've done. Uh, let me just, I'll start off with the first one. Now, from that one, you've got various options. You can make mat and layers. You can make frames. But because this this would not fold over perfectly. What you do with this one, you make a template like that, which gives you the basic outline. Now, you would normally have two of those, so one goes one way and goes the other, but you can't. So what you do with this one is you cut out a base with a crease here, and that becomes just sticks on the back, and that becomes the leg of your template, of your card. And on here, on the template, you can see where that is. This line here is where you would cut, and this line here is where you would crease. That will become the hinge to your card base. So this is slightly different from the other flip and fold cards. I have to change this because of the actual, it's not geometrically equal both sides. So you've got different sizes to do. This is the one that we're going to be working on, the full size one, but you can make the star designs in any size that you want from these different printed uh, templates and again there's lots of different ways of using these templates please please check out all the other videos to get more inspiration and more wow you can do that as well fantastic and you can go right down to the little small one I'm going to show you how to make a large one and a small one all from the same little bit of card with this in this particular case so first of all what I've done is I've taken the large one and I've made I've printed you can either print it directly onto a piece of card or paper and cut it out but I printed this, I print it out onto a piece of paper, I cut it out, and I put it over the top of a card, and I drew all the way around it and created that template for there. Then, as you can see on this particular case, I printed it, then cut it out, and then that's going to crease there, mark it, and that also then becomes my template for the bottom part of the card, and that will fit onto there like that. So what does that look like in real life? Well, let me show you that. Here's the card template that I cut out, and I've done it in a really nice holographic piece of card. Forget about the centre for a minute. And then here is the base. Here's the base, and I've put some double set, and I've creased it already, so that bends over there perfectly. Now, I want to show you something when you're putting this together. I'm going to create the card, but I want to show you something as we go along. This base, you can either put on it that way, so when it opens up, you can, you've got the holographic on the back. If it's a double-sided card, it wouldn't matter, but you've got the holographic on the back. Now, I think from the front there, and you've got the, holo you've got the playing card showing, I don't f for me, I'd prefer the holographic side to be showing there. So when it's stuck down from the front, you're, seeing hologra you're not going to see the back anyway. So when you've got the base open like that, you're going to see the holographic on the inside. So the way I'm going to stick it is, is on the 
have it so that holographics on the inside there. You'll see what I mean. And then you've got to cut a little bit out. So that folds on, that goes onto there like that. And that folds down there to form the leg. Now you can see it's going over here, but I'll show you how to, what to do with that in a minute. That's sticking down, and there you see, then you've got your... You can just open that out a little bit, Lorraine, so I can see the card better. There you go. You can see you've got the full card there now as well, and you've got there at the base, you've got the holographic bit, and it looks nicer. Now, what I did... Oh well, yeah, you could put a message on the back, you can do all sorts of things, you can flip that over and there could be a message on the inside there, good idea there. And what I've done here as well, with the main bit, I took one of the templates, here's the templates here, I took another piece of card and I made all these templates so I could create frames, I could do all sorts of different things with these. And if you have a look at the other demonstrations, you'll get ideas as whether well to make frames, mat and layers, cut and fold, all sorts of different things you can do with this. But what I did from the template is, you can see here, I cut the inside dark square, uh, dark star out and created that effect there. Now, when that's stuck together, you can see here, you've got those little bits showing. All you have to do is then take your scissors and just cut that out. Cut those out so you're going to get your perfect star in the centre there. And I'd rather do this now than at the beginning, because if, if you try to cut that out from the main bit, if you get it slightly off centre, this gives you more options to get that centre there perfect. So I've got rid of those little bits there, very simple and easy to do. And then you've got the perfect card there. You can leave it at that and decorate it for Christmas, for a silver wedding anniversary or anything like that, a star or a happy birthday or congratulations. So if you want a star-shaped one, that's your basic fold there. But I've done something a little bit different just to add on to that. Like with all the videos, you've got a little different extra bit to do with it. And this is what I'm going to do with that. So there's my basic card now. I'm just doing something a little bit different here. I've cut out one of the stars, one of the large stars. And what I did with this one is I used two. You can see there, I printed onto the back there. And I cut out two. This, if it was one, it would be that size. There you can see how thin that is. But I decided to take two layers. And I'm just put some, I've just put some little foam pads on the back there like that. And all I've got to do is take the backings off. Make so. Put, take those off. Uh, I'm, you could just use glue if you wanted to, but I'm just trying to give these a little bit of depth so it gives it a little bit more kind of 3D effect. And, I'm, and then you can use as many stars as you want. I'm only using two with this, and I've cut them quite thick. So you've got options now. You could put it on there directly over the top so it gives you a nice kind of a framed effect, but a little bit of dimension. But I'm just going to offset it gently like that. So just position it where you want it. I've got my little foam pads. And again, you've got the first part there of your beautiful holographic star card. And just by adding that extra one, you've got another dimension to your card that you could decorate. You could have a lovely little decoration hanging in the middle if it was for a wedding or a, something like that. Then I've taken another one. I'm only doing two layers here, but you can do as many layers as you want. I just can take the back of the foam pads off this one, put these on beforehand, because you know how long it takes me to stick the foam flaming things down. So, and obviously, buy good quality of everything where you can. You don't want it all stuck together. Shut your face. Stuck together, and then it all kind of falls apart. So these are good quality foam pads. And uh, I've got this here. Now, I could put it over the top like that, but I'm just going to off-center it again and just turn it round so this becomes a pointed bit. And you could do this in different colored holographic foils, couldn't you? So that goes over there. And look at the depth you're getting in that there. Now you've got the three different layers. And you can see there, if I hold that up, you're getting those beautiful effects there. Now, out of the one that I, and there's, there's my card. Now, isn't that just crying out to be decorated? Don't you just want to decorate that? Well, what you can also do is, I had the star left over from the middle there. Now, you could even take that star and offset that one in the center. So you've got like that. Effect. You could stick that onto there like so as well. If you want to take it another stage further, you could stick that on. There you go. You just do that. Can you hear the dogs outside? I mean, they're noisy devils. But what I've done is I've taken the small template. There's the small template. 
and I've made a little star card. There you go, you can see that little star card there. I've just done this in ordinary white card, like so. And what I can do now, I can decide to stick that over the top. I've made another one that goes over the top like that. Or I could off-centre that one as well, so I've got the little stars going on the outside. But I think what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of double-sided tape, and I'm just going to stick that on the back, and I'm going to put that in position on the top of the card. So I'm making from one card, I'm making two, two little cards. Now, position this as well so it's not going to be... It can go to the bottom of the card there, but it needs to be... You don't want it to go below this bottom bit here. So there you go. There's a little card on its own, and that makes a nice little card. But the centre of the bit that I had left over, I've got that too. So I can also put that on. You see the ways you can make these templates work? There's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of different ways of using them. So from this this one template of creating different different effects like let's get that in the position precisely there you go and then i've got that double layer and then you've got another smashing little card that you can just decorate if you want to just it only needs a little simple thing in that you could write a sentiment on the bottom here so you've got one you've got two cards from that one thing but before i just want to go on i just want to show you one other thing that, as from that template you saw, I cut all these out and you've got all these different templates and you can put them inside each other so you can have a double thickness. As I said, there's lots of different ways of using the uh, templates and I even did it with the small one. Even with the very small one that works. So look at these. Can you imagine that as a beautiful card cutting that out? Okay, you need to be a good crafter to do this. But can you imagine creating wonderful Christmas decorations in, in gold? or silver just by cutting these little templates out and just building them up like that and a little bit of thread or cotton and you could create wonderful effects and make Christmas decorations make all sorts of things okay I'm not sticking this very well together but you can see the effects I'm trying to get but you can make beautiful filigree decorations you can make the big ones each one of these you'd, so you don't have to use the templates just for making the cards when it comes to it you can make some beautiful star star design so let's just move these to one side so you can see what we're doing again so from this one i've made the large one like that there you go and i've also made the little small one too let me get this into position for you so you can see it better actually it might go for the big shot that's much nicer and then you've got the little one there as well so let's remind you of what you're getting with this star template don't forget once you've got the templates once you've got the templates, all you've got to do is download them. You can come back to me, Lorraine, because I've got a bit to say. Uh, what you've got to do is download them, and then you can print out exactly what you want, what size you want. You can, once you've printed it out, cut out what design you want, which, how you want the template to work. Save it, a little bit of masking tape, you know, if you're just using ordinary paper. If you should lose it, if the cat should start chewing it or the dog run off of it, print it out again you'll never win out and there's various options and please please go and have a look at all the videos that are connected to this particular range of the flip and fold cards and then you can make beautiful cards like that and they're so simple and easy to do